Hey, Tyler here. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out tarveracademy.com. All right, now I'm gonna show you how to find the area of a triangle, okay? Triangle is a three-sided figure, good for it, okay? That'll be our base, and this will be our height, okay? Just like in a parallelogram, the height has to come, well, in a parallelogram from side to side. This is coming from the opposite angle down to another side, okay? That side it hits at a right angle is your base, and that line is your height. Now. That doesn't have to be, um, it doesn't have to be right there. It doesn't have to be the base, it doesn't always have to be the bottom. Okay, I know the base of like stuff is at the bottom. It doesn't have to be. This could be the base, and you can make a dotted line and make that the height. It comes across, and this could be the base, same thing. All right, it's not specific to the bottom is the base. It doesn't have to, okay? Just whatever information you get, use it, okay? Formula for area of a triangle is one half base divided by height. That's bad that I forgot that. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. One half base times height. Cut that out. Okay. One half base times the height. Some people like to write it 0.5 base times height. That way, because fractions scare a lot of people, I don't care what you do. Okay. It's your, your life. Live it up. Okay. So let's do an example problem. Let's see. Let's say that we have a triangle Okay, let's, uh, let's do a complicated one. How's this? Say we have a right triangle, that's 20, and that's 12. Okay? Now, we need to find a base and a height, all right? Guess what? With a right triangle, you've already got a height because there's a right angle there. All right? Now, our rule is a base has to be a line on the triangle, and the height has to go from the opposite angle and hit it with a right angle, okay? This hits it. This can be our height. The 12 can. But that means this has to be our base. Do we know our base? Not yet. Guess what? You're about to do the Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Remember? C is our most important. It's the one that's opposite the right angle. 20 squared. And then we've got 12 squared plus B squared. Okay? B I put as base, so whatever. All right, let's solve it. 20 squared is 400, 12 squared is 144, plus b squared, we subtract 144, b squared equals, was that 256? All right, and the square root of 256 is, I don't know, like 16 or something? It's been a long time since I've done math, dude. Get off my back about it. Okay, so square root of 256, 16. Nailed it. 16. So therefore, our base is 16, correct? Now, what all did we need to do this formula? 1 half base times height. We need 1 half, that's its own, times the base, which we just found is 16, times the height, which we said was 12. Okay? Multiply all those together. 1 half times 16 is 8. 8 times 12 is 96. 96, whatever, inches squared, or whatever you're trying to use, would be your answer, okay? 96, that's better. Inches squared, because it's an area, so square footage, you get it? That's what it goes for it, those feet squared. Okay, and that's an example of how to do that. What do we do? Area of a triangle. Hope you enjoyed yourselves nearly as half as much as I did. Um, if you want, you can check out my regular website at tylertarver.com. Or you can go to my math website, which is Tarver Academy. I have all this stuff split up, um, tarveracademy.com. <laughs> and then we also will have an iPhone and iPad app you can check out. If you want to donate, go to my website. Whatever. Who cares? Just get out of here, kids. Get out of here. Show's over. <laughs> Am I right? Am I right? Am I right? I'm right. Are you right? Get out of here. Get. Do you want to do another example? Eh, if you want to do another example, tweet me at Tyler Tarver on Twitter. And take a picture of an example, and you know what, I'll work it and put it on a video. Bye. Hey, thanks for showing up. Give me a subscribe and check out tarveracademy.com. Pizza?